course. In here after a break and there's one big difference isn't there what oh the yeah we have heating difference? now we've got heating underfloor heating um, which is massive we had Stefan our heating engineer come and connect it up uh, a week or so ago wasn't it a couple of weeks yep. ago and um, it makes a huge difference to us working in here doesn't it yeah well, and also living in here <laughs> so once we've got that and then we've got the latches coming. Um, you're going to be working on the sewage as soon as the contractors can get down to the, get their machines down there. Yep. So we had just better step up and sort out the last bit of plastering, tiles, and the end of the, the woodwork, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We've finally got the van back as well, haven't we? Yep. Our van has had problems for years and the, the garage have finally discovered what was wrong with it, um, the wrong fuse in the wrong s in the starter motor. Mm. So then we can do a big trip to the rubbish dump. Yep. So we've decided with the go for a flat plank at the top um, that will come flush against it. But I didn't. I'm not very happy with the job I did for the skirting board. So for this bit, I'll uh, have it planed at a local workshop where they have good equipment. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll just go for something flat that will uh, overlap the the top of the panels. And so I just need to measure how long I need. So Three sixty. And so, yeah, in the bathroom, we'll do the same, uh, slightly narrower, but so we'll uh, be able to hang hooks for uh, bathroom towels and uh, things like that at the top of the, the panels. I need to do the finishing touches for the wood panelings, so I have a few bits and pieces that are a bit fiddly, like uh, gluing the, the edges uh, so they, they're nice and flat and they don't come out. And then I'll have to cut the, the return uh, over here to size. So it's the, all the little uh, things that take the longest actually. choose some planks in the barn uh, to have them planed and uh, the right, uh, right shape. This one's good. That's a good little selection of wood. I'll take a bit more than I need and, uh, and we use up the, the rest in the other room. So yeah, leave it. 
bit here because the I need to load it in the the van. I'm uh, in the van down the Rhone Valley with Clément. So I took some uh, planks for the coach house uh, to bring to the sawmill to have planed and cut because it will be much faster than uh, if I do it myself. to drop the planks here and then do them uh, later. There is a bit of preparatory work and they don't... Um, that all the workers are not at the in the workshop at the moment, so I'll need to pick them up tomorrow. Back in October, um, I stopped at a DIY shop to get something for Mark, and at the same time I thought I'd get some test paint samples to see what colour we might paint the uh, wood panels there. And given that we're about to start doing the plastering, hopefully this week, I thought it'd be good to have a look at these, because although really our thought was we plaster first, then we see what colour looks good, and then we see what colour my glazes are for the tiles, you never know, it might spark something if we've got these test ones. And I wanted to try the colours that we're in... Um, uh, consideration are a grey is the front runner, maybe a sage green, a sort of creamy colour, and a blue. A lot of people have mentioned blue. Apparently, it comes on the opposite side of the colour wheel from orange, which the floor is. I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what a colour wheel is, but it's worth a try. Um, which I, I just picked ones I like the look of. Um, there were hundreds, but also I was with my little girl. Uh, and the problem with DIY stores, certainly here in France, is they don't have any trolleys with um, baby seats in. So I have to carry her all the way around the store, um, which made things a bit tricky. And she basically got hold of a handful of samples and rammed them along the floor. So I had to buy them. So it's pretty much her fault if they're not the right colours. Now, I think this looks like some funky thing where you don't even need your own paintbrush. This is trusty Dulux Valentine. Paint is very, very, very expensive in France. And I'm going to do it on one of the pieces of wood panelling that Mark has. <laughs> Okay, that was very practical. The next one is grey. That actually looks rather grey to me. It's supposed to be linen. And this looks like the identical same colour. Thought there'd be no difficulty in telling which difference between them, but I think there might be. Oh. I got one from a different paint company. It's one of those paint companies that you know is expensive just by looking at the pot. Um, but they seem to be very lovely and do all sorts of authentic stuff, environmentally friendly stuff, I'm not sure. 
expensive stuff. Libron. And they have a much smaller range, but they are rather beautiful heritage-like colours. So I got one. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, so what I'm going to do is another coat once these lot have dried. I'll put them on the floor, given we've got the underfloor heating. And um, then maybe I'll do some tidying up. I think it'll dry quite quickly so I can do the second coat. It's looking quite nice, isn't it? One thing we didn't get was a dark grey, which I wonder about. So I'm going to do a second coat. I'm not actually convinced they need it. They're looking quite strong and thick, but so maybe I'll do it on half just to see. Um, but I just want to see if it changes them at all. I've been tidying up in here, which was very therapeutic, but also quite important. I know we're going to make more mess, but it means we can bring the kids in here. It means we're not just dropping stuff into mess all the time. dad you were taking them to get them routed and he said good he said home routers are notorious for just constantly breaking and never going in a straight line yeah <laughs> sorry what <clears throat> hopefully the measurements are good Oh, that's nice. Like this. I like it. Um, I don't know if you notice anything. It's very baby. Yay! Which means baby girl can wander around on the floor. Plus, I did some paint samples. Mm. Uh, so I've done two coats. I've just done the second I coat and it's still drying. Just make it. Um, I mean, really, we need to do the plastering first and then see what we like. But I just wondered if you wanted to have a look at... But uh, I wanted to try a grey, cream, or two greys, really. A blue and a green, sagey green. So where's the green? <laughs> well, theoretically, that's grey and that's lamb, linen. But all well, it is, grey it's a nice grey. No, no, it doesn't actually, in the daylight, it's only in this light, in the artificial light, it looks blue. Mm. The other thing is, I, I should have got a dark grey, because I've got yeah. a feeling that dark grey is going to be one of yeah, the nicer. Yeah, I thought it's what you meant, actually, when you when were talking grey. about grey. No, I... Um... But we can see, you know, I yeah. think... Um, I think that colour is not right, but I really like it. Mm. That's the Libron one. And we can look could at that go somewhere in the else. bathroom. Maybe. That's the other thing. I've been thinking that we could do completely mm. different colours in the bathroom, actually. Well done. Right, well, we're um, making progress. So I suggest we move it to the cardboard so it doesn't drip on the. Yeah, place. it shouldn't drip. It's mostly um, flat. Um, it's mostly nearly dry, actually. Great. So next stage is to just finish those last bits and just. put the top. Mm. So I have the, I'm doing the last finishing touches, but it's also what takes the, the longest, because it's always a bit fiddly. 
I took off the clamps on this side of the, the wall and now I have to adjust the, the little corner here and I'll need to find a way to glue it. It's always really fiddly because there's never a straight wall. The plank was a bit too thick, so I need to to adjust it the right uh, the right thickness. Otherwise, it will uh, will stick out. I'm doing some not so nice work. Don't down on yourself. Um, Don't be so down on yourself. I think you're doing a great job. No, I'm not really. Can I help you? Um, yeah, in a minute we'll, uh, we can put the skirting boards. Okay. Uh, the top, uh, <clears throat> the top one. To push it flat while it it dries. Oops. No. That's not you don't good. know your own strength. Um, <laughs> do you want me to sit against it? Oh, uh, yes, please. And don't move until it's dry. Right. How many hours is that? 48 hours. 48 hours. What do you need my help with? Um, mostly moral support. Go Mark, go Mark, <laughs> go Mark. So let's, uh, let's see how it looks. And so you just cut entire planks and then we cut to size rather yeah. than, yeah. We can route the top if you want. You wanted it to be rounder. I, I only thought that, it, I don't know though. What do you think? Oops. Yeah, I think it would be better to have it. Do you think a slightly... tiny, tiny bit? Yeah. Well, it looks quite nice like that. Yeah, annoying it's going to go over the light switch, but... Um... Yeah, we had planned initially to do it a bit shorter. Yeah. What do you think? You stand back and tell me what you think. Or do you think it should be shorter? It will look a bit weird at the light switch. I'm trying to picture it, when it if it was shorter. Um, we have taken the decision not to cut this, but to cut these so that it comes underneath um, and looks cleaner all the way along. Um, yeah. Okay, that's it. Yes, yeah, so here the laser is 104 from the ground and the other end is 103.2. That's nearly a centimetre different. Yeah. The issue, I guess, is do you want it... Is that definitely 100% flat, that laser? Should be. <laughs> can check with the bubble level, if you like. Yeah, that's not completely level. That it would be... You let your side go up a second, that would be perfectly level. Okay, so what do you suggest? <laughs> um, I need to complain too little. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's measure both sides from the floor. Then we'll put a plank across just as a measuring aid and um, draw a straight line with the plank. I think that is as straight as we can get it. Okay. What do you think? 
I think it's as straight as we can Would get you like it. to just line the, the level up with it to see what it shows? Uh, I think our line's looking pretty good. I think that level might need to go back to the shop. It looks a bit lower that side. <laughs> no, it was lower this side before. Now it's even. This is not a very straight hacksaw. My arm hurts and I'm bored, but I'm not complaining. Um, good to know. I don't want to damage the doorway there by smacking into it. <laughs> you cheeky so-and-so. I know where I'm not needed. So, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> I think it looks really nice just as it is. And I think actually, given that all the rest of the angles are quite sharp, um, I don't think it's gonna need, I don't, think, I don't think it would look right if it was too rounded. Do you need my help for this bit? Um, yeah, uh, no, it's okay. No, I don't yeah. mind helping. No, it's okay. Okay. a bit with wood filler and fill the gaps. a little uh, sanding when it sits dry and it shouldn't show too much hopefully. The first thing I've seen out here is Mark's amazing job of the panelling and ah, I'm so proud of him for this because he absolutely hated doing it. I mean he, he just wants to be outdoors on a digger um, but he gritted his teeth and he got through it and um, just putting that top panel on has really brought the whole thing to life and also it being one of our own pieces of wood really finishes it off nicely i think mm -hmm. 